Studios. Yeah, I'll definitely go check it out. I'll definitely go check it out. But I, I think this is more up my alley right now, um, as far as sci-fi. Um, I was I was trying to stay in there with Star Wars guys. I was, but <sighs> too much too much irredeemable uh, actions in that uh, franchise has been made for me. So I, I'm pretty much done with Star Wars. I'm more of a Dune guy, <laughs> Dune guy now. <laughs> yeah. But please, guys, yeah. uh, if you have anything else to say uh, about Dune, uh, please say it because we're going to move on to the next subject. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it, they, they, he he made a right balance. And, you know, just to piggyback what you're saying about Star Wars, mm. um, you know, when you're dealing with something like, you know, you know, sci-fi and the spirituality aspect of it, like in Star Wars that, you know, they had the force, but they really didn't use it as much as they could have. To have that balance, you know, like the first, you know, like the first installments of Star Wars, like when they introduced Yoda and the Force, it was like, wow, this is so mystical. Yeah. Uh, with the sci-fi, that was great, you know, for what you know George Lucas was trying to do. But you know, reading Joseph Campbell, I, mm-hmm. I just think with Dune and you know, as well as the Matrix, uh, was able to have that balance too. Because you're gonna have to, if you're gonna have to do with technology, you're gonna have to have the organic type of, and have that bound, you know, that that conflict between the two, and yeah. how you know how that war wages. But yeah, the new installments of Star Wars, they didn't have that. They sh- they should have pushed more of the Force spirituality uh, differently. Take a page out of the Matrix, mm-hmm. and I think it would have fared a lot better. That, that was just my opinion, because I, I felt yeah. like. It was missing something, and it was just focused too much on you know special effects and the CG. Yeah, and I understand that the story was about the um, you know the story about Luke Skywalker star star you know Luke Skywalker coming out of out of nowhere and you know finding this power that exists in everything. And I, I think they should have done that more. They tried to do it in the Last Jedi you know episode, but <laughs> yeah, in the third it was movie. Too yeah, in the third <laughs> movie, it makes no sense. And how are you going to do that in the last, basically the last act? You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, and to kind of piggyback off of what you're saying, because we touched on this in previous um, uh, podcasts. Um, I think the 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 poignant word or the that you used was balance. And I think when you look at, and I'm going to get some flack for this, but I've been already saying this, so I'm going to say it anyway. When you look at the the the, the trilogy, the last uh, sequel trilogy. It's it's unbalanced because feminists have taken over Star Wars, and I mean that um, um, literally. It, like when you look at uh, the original trilogy, the the OG trilogy, the one that the, the Star Wars that started off in 1979, and to kind of give women more credit, because I've been kind of uh, bashing feminists, particularly feminist women lately, to give them more credit, the reason why that original trilogy worked. Is because George Lucas's wife at the time, I, I believe her name was Martha. I can't remember. I can't remember, but she was an editor. She was an editor, and a lot of people say she was the heart of Star Wars, because she would tell George, she was like, "Look, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. You need to, or you need to add this." So George Lucas, he had the framework, right? He had this larger framework that 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 men usually are good at. They're good at the larger. They can see the larger structure, and women are usually better at details. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this is an absolute. I'm just saying that generally when they study the difference between men and women, you know what I'm saying? That's what you see. And I think that's why the first trilogy worked so well, because it was I mean, if you want to start getting metaphysical and spiritual, it was a perfect balance between feminine and masculine energy. And you see it on, on the screen, whereas and even the prequels, the prequels, the reason why they probably weren't as good as the other ones, because it was I think they had. Uh, he had divorced that woman. They weren't together anymore, so she wasn't involved. When you watch the prequels, and it's like, okay, when George is by himself, he can't he can't even get proper performances out of good actors like Lee, like Liam Neeson and uh, <laughs> and uh, Ewan McGregor and Sam Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I think if Martha was there, and she even criticized those the prequels and the trilogy sequels. She came in a book. She criticized both of them, and she really criticized the sequel trilogy. She was like, "This is this is garbage. This isn't this isn't Luke. This isn't uh, Star Wars." But I'm not gonna oh, go on Star Wars, man. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I I was just wanted to. I think the important word is balance. You need a good balance, uh, especially if you want a general audience. Right now, I think what they're doing is they're alienating their male audience. You know what I'm saying by pushing um 
you know, these Mary Sues who men can't relate to. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't relate to Ray. And I, and they tried to do the whole thing where she's like, uh, you know, on Jakku and she lives on a desert. But there was no reason why she lived. I mean, you, even when you find out the reason, it was like it was stupid. It wasn't even well thought out. You know, you know what I'm saying? And you just didn't believe it. it, it and also, it wasn't different. It was like she's, all she is is a female simulacrum of Luke. At least make her different. Yeah. Make her something, you know, give her a different struggle. Or similar but different, like you know, a different uh, flavor of the struggle. You know what I'm saying? So that was my yeah. issue. It's like, come on, man. I, I think the important thing there is balance. Lucent O Studio. Studio.